you had a great game yourself, but it seemed you guys were you were hitting your shots from the outside, big men in the inside. With Cajon, without big men, you kind of were able to take advantage of the situation. Uh, yeah, exactly. We just try to take our best advantages we could. Teammates found me. I hit the open shots early in the game, and, and, and that created more opportunities for me. And I'm just happy we got this win. It's a big win for us, and then looking forward for the next one. Hello. Uh, congratulations for the win. Uh, are you surprised of the weakness of Holon tonight? Uh, I don't think it's a weak team. I see they got a couple guys injured. They're a good team, good players, and, and we didn't focus on them. We came out doing our thing, having our defense set and, and, and executing an offense, and the game went well. So, like I said, we're happy for the win. We fought hard, and, and, and that's what matters. Thank you. Good job, Thank you. Coach, uh, you must be pleased with the victory, uh, but it could have been by a much higher point differential, and you guys kind of went from 20 to 10 over the last couple of minutes. That might have not left a good taste in your mouth after this game. Mm, you're always uh, happy when you win. If somebody will tell you that you beat Holon by 10 points away just a couple hours before, yeah, yeah, I would say I will take it, yeah, but. Uh, when the game goes uh, by and, uh, you know, like you see that the opponent is missing uh, some key players and, uh, you know, your team is doing well, you always, like, you want, you want more. You, uh, we have a problem. Um, we're a young team, especially the local guys and, uh, uh, and Tom's as well. And um, it's... Uh, Game by game, it's a good lessons for them to mature as the players to close the games like that. At this level, uh, it's hard to expect that you will lead by 20 every night. And uh, once you have chance to have the good point spread, you have to know how to close it. And uh, once again, uh, I wish this lesson they will carry on and um, use it in the future. You know before the game that you have advantage under the basket? Uh, no, um, like we find out when we got here that Howell is not playing. So obviously, uh, probably we got a little bit more confidence when guys kind of start feeling uh, that uh, we have uh, like bigger rotation. And uh, uh, I think. Um, once you establish goal, bo good ball movement and once you establish inside out game, it's always easy to find the looks. And uh, so we find a good uh, balance between inside and outside game. And we hit our shots, we got the lead and control of the game. Basically, that was the key. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Isaiah, a uh, tough night at the office uh, mm -hmm. for you guys today. Uh, obviously, you must be happy to be able to at least cut that 20 points down to 10 points at the end, but mm -hmm. nevertheless, uh, a rough night. Yeah. Uh it was good, you know. We kept fighting to the to the end. Uh, we definitely, the goal was to cut it to at least by ten, so that when we come back uh, and play them next month, uh, we would have a healthy team, and you know we could we could play better and hopefully get the win over there. But uh, you know, obviously we came in hoping that we would win this game, but you know we take what we can get. You know, we got a ten point uh, loss, but we're gonna try to make that up when we go play them in uh in their arena.
guys are. It seems that uh, you guys had a um, bad day in the office uh, for the three pointers, mm. and it seems that it seems that um, you guys don't have a plan B when the both teams don't get in. Mm. Uh, it's not that we don't have a plan B. Uh, sometimes we kind of live by the three or die by the three, but our main uh, slashers. Uh, dudes to get to the basket, dudes to kind of create for others. With Yogi, uh, this is Yogi's first game back uh, after about a month, month and a half off. He's like our main creator. CJ is also our creator. But uh, now you got Chris Johnson, Richard, Willie. All those are our main slashers. You know, those are the ones that kind of create and get to the basket for us. And, you know, Willie and Richard are hurt and Chris got ejected. So, you know, when, when we just got to be able to kind of kind of change change the game plan. You know, when we make threes, it looks good. But when we miss, like you said, it's, it's a struggle. But I think we just got to get back, get back to practice, you know, onto the next game. You know, like I said, we play them next month. Uh, we're going to make the adjustments, and we're going to find out what works for us. Hey, um, how big of a role did the absences had on the, uh, the final outcome of this game? Uh, I think it had a huge, uh, huge uh, role. Uh, you know, I don't want to make excuses for us. I think we, they, Minx was a good team. They played hard today, and they played good today. but. I think we would have been fully, had a full roster, everyone would been healthy. I think it would have been a different outcome. Uh, like I said, by next month, hopefully we can get that and we can have that opportunity. But, uh, you know, guys are banged up, guys are hurt. You know, uh, Willie, Richard, uh, Yogi, myself, you know, a lot of guys are banged up. So uh, hopefully, like I said, we get the opportunity to play them again. So we're going to have a full roster, and I think the outcome is going to be a little bit different. Hey, Zeyan, um, Richie's out. And anyway, you don't have many big guys in your roster. How hard is it for you playing off your position? Uh, it's an adjustment, but like like anything in life, you know, you gotta rise up to the occasion, rise up to the opportunity. You know, I'm I haven't played the five since I was in high school, since I was 17 or 18. So it's definitely a, a, a an adjustment for me. But like I said, I, I do whatever the team needs me to do to win. Uh, I think it's an advantage for me because bigger guys are slower. They can't really go out there, and that's why I can get my open shot because they're a little bit slower. But uh. I just gotta, you know, rebound better, you know, box out better, get in position better. But it takes it takes time. It's an, it's an adjustment, but I'm not I'm not worried about it. Like I said, I can I can kind of get through it until Richard gets back. Uh, hello to everyone. First of all, congratulations to Minsk. They had a very good day. Uh, uh, they make big shots all the time. Uh, the way we approached the game in the beginning was uh, not good uh, defensively. Uh, we we give up 26 points, and uh, that made them feel comfortable during the game. The rest part of the second, uh, third, and fourth quarter, I don't have complaint with the defense and with the effort. We had the good parts, but uh, offensively, uh, only the last part we try to play how we're supposed to play uh, with extra passes, with the shoot, with shoot with the confidence. Uh, look, we go from 20 points to 10 points. I don't know; it's for sure it's not a compliment, but uh, we have three more games. Everything can happen. Uh, for sure, we have problems. Uh, maybe people don't understand, uh, but uh, for example, when uh, Yogi and Bourdion play the first time together, they don't meet before, and uh, you don't have a quick offense or quick solution on offense, and uh, everybody look each other. This comes from a, not a good connection. For example, those two guys or. Yogi with the other guys, or Bourdillon with uh, McGee, and uh, this is a team. It's not like, uh, like I said on TV before, the players are not singers. Like, okay, it's on the stage, and they can sing whatever they want. Yeah. And uh, after three months, to have this picture on offense, uh, the three quarters, maybe we can say second and third, mostly, uh, it's not by accidentally. Yeah. Because of uh, this, uh, every time Balagan, every time change players, change lineups. 
uh, we cannot uh, we cannot work how we want. Uh, the level of the practice is uh, funny. Shoot video. Uh, confidence, talking. I cannot practice with the guys. I cannot uh, push them uh, because they have few healthy. And you can cheat opponent. Eh? Sometimes you can cheat, uh, you know, one game. I mean, to to cover your weaknesses, but you cannot cheat, uh, cheat the the sport. If you are not ready physically, mentally, full, you cannot make a big wins. Eh? So this is it. You want something to ask? Yes, coach. Uh, hello, first of all. Um, tonight you scored only 18 points in the paint. Seems quite hard and uh, difficult to handle this lack of size under the basket. Uh, do you feel like sticking with the original strategy at the start of the season is the right way to get out of it? Yeah, for sure. It's not uh, to score inside or to score outside. This is not uh, the point from where you will score. The point is the automatism you need to have on offense when the system don't work how everybody know each other, what to do uh, on the broken place, how to, uh, for example, to make, like what Workman does in the games, nobody see how when the ball stuck, uh, how he works, how he cut, how he makes somebody else be open. We, we miss some, uh, some parts of uh, automatism and uh, I don't believe the inside or outside the uh, uh, game is, uh, I mean, it's a fact. The fact is we lost the uh, uh, automatism. We lost uh, a lot of free throws first time, nine free throws. We are nervous on how we finish on the basket. Our guards didn't have a very good finish the first uh, three quarters. So this is combination of, of this. Uh. Coach, hey, um, you spoke um, in the last uh, few games, you know, about fatigue and about uh, injuries, and now about the lack of connection, which is everything is reasonable and. It's a, it's a acceptable, but for a club like a Paul Holon, with ambitious of a Paul Holon, you need to manage with it. You need to get over it, despite the whole um, the whole difficulties. You yeah. need to find a way to win, and in the last uh, three games, you don't do it. No, uh, I mean Rishon, Gilboa, we, and we beat we beat Chole you, last yeah, week. You beat yeah. Chole, sorry. Uh, what does it mean to manage? To make uh, Johnson score uh, 15 points when he had three, to, to make Trotsky bigger? Uh, look, guys, uh, we, miss, uh, we miss important tools. Uh, Howell, you see, we start with Trotsky, it's not his fault. We start with minus 10. Immediately, we're 10 points down in the first uh, three minutes. Right hook in the paint, right hook in the paint, offensive rebound. From free throw, it's not about when you miss the free throw of rebound in the first quarter. Shows that uh, you know you have problems, and how you can cover these problems? It's very difficult. Only if you make good practice, if you if you emphasize what is our problem, the lack of size, and to work hard and try to to correct it. You cannot because we don't practice. We don't practice. We could play three days ago a game. Uh, Ohayon joined us yesterday. He was good. Uh, yeah, to manage. What does it mean? You know, how no Hapoel Holon have pressure. I'm not a new here, uh, new guy here. Uh, what do you think changed uh, last uh, week? We, ten days ago, we play Ike, and uh, we play unbelievable. But did I, what, what did it change from this part? What is the change? What we will change from this part? Also, uh, Rishon first half, we were unbeatable, and we play great game in Ike and first half good with Rishon. What happened? CJ out, is, is still injured. Ohayon didn't come back, Richie out, Workman out on the warm-up. Opponents are good, you don't play good. Yes, if we have uh, 5,000 people, I can, they can help me to manage, but it's very, very difficult. I cannot say to, and you see me calm during the game. Usually I'm more emotional, but I see they try everything, they try. But uh, also opponent play. Um, but I'm telling you, I'm not disappointed. For sure, I, I don't like to lose the game, but I believe in my, in my team. And uh, like I said on TV before the game, I want to, to finish this week and uh, to guys to return and to work on the break, four or five good practices all together to go to our, uh, our good level. The round on the BCL didn't finish. Okay, uh, we have more three games and everything can happen. And we have one win, 
we can win all of those three teams and still we are in but uh, you know it's it's very difficult you know it's very difficult to manage but I try a lot uh, also you need a little bit luck eh? what does it mean when you miss 10 free throws we, we shoot with 90 percent 85 percent we miss 10 free throws today in the when we need this is a something that uh, affect the game and when their big guys shoot first time they I mean we stopped their two foreigners on five points Clyburn and uh, Lowery and the other guys uh, made the amazing game and they score everything so it's not easy but uh, you're right you know you have to manage uh, how long have pressure I'm calm I feel confident uh, that uh, when the guys will come back uh, we will start winning again I'm not worried I'm just disappointed a little bit now because it's a part of the season. Yeah. Can you give us a quick update about uh, Richie Howell? Because is it a matter of days, a weeks, even months? Because we know he has an injury prone. No, it's, uh, he will take some treatment, uh, some uh, PRP shots and everything to, to see if he can uh, heal it quickly uh, and to be with us after uh, 10 days. Or uh, really, we don't know. We wait. Uh, we need to see the uh, next couple of days what is the situation with Richie. Um, we are in the market for sure. Eh? The Israeli market is poor. Eh? To be honest, there is no player, not good player, there is no player to bring to help us. And still a new player, again, new systems, new pick and roll defense. New, it's, um, you know, when you ask me about the medical uh, situation, also come to my mind how to cover it and how to connect again the players. Because I don't like the transfers. Last year when I came, we cut four players, and I bring two players. I want to tell you, I prefer the compact roster, the automatism and the, the guys who can play together. But now it's a, it's a problem because it's a crucial position for us. Uh, Rich is the only real big guy. And uh, as your, for your question, we will know in a couple of days uh, what's going on. I don't count him for Jerusalem for sure. Or Sunday. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.